What's going on guys? We're back here in the DCF studio and we got another Two Minute Tuesday to share with you guys. We got a great response from our last one, so today we're going to be talking all about taping. Over the years, I've taped thousands of shoes and I've seen plenty that can and will go wrong with taping. So with all of our tips and tricks that we talk about in today's video, you guys will be ready to tape any shoe that comes your way. So for this video, we're gonna be taping a pair of Vans Classics along with a Jordan 5. So let's go ahead and throw two minutes on the clock and let's get right into it. So some of the materials that I like to keep nearby are a few variations of Scotch masking tape along with Angelus's red vinyl tape, some medical tape for sock liners, and then paper Paper towels, saran wrap, and garbage bags to help mask off the rest of the shoe. Starting with these Vans Classics, when you have something that has a vulcanized sole or a sole that stays at one height all the way around, you can use this Angelus Red Vinyl Tape. It's great because you can get all the way around the entire midsole with one pass, simply pressing and pulling the whole way around, or you can cut it up into multiple strips and help get around the entirety of the midsole. After you have that first layer of tape down, you're gonna wanna use something that'll help mask off the rest of the sole. I like to use paper towels and then simply connect a layer of tape in between your paper towel and your first layer of tape. Paper towels beat out saran wrap and garbage bag in my opinion to help mask off large areas because it's much easier to work with. The saran wrap can crumble up and be hard to work with and garbage bags are just a little bit too big and both of these will burn holes in quickly when you're heat setting in between airbrush coats. Moving on to these Jordan 5s, when taping off the midsoles for something like this, I like to use the Green Scotch 2600 tape. It doesn't leave behind any residue and it definitely holds up well over time. You can easily rip it off into multiple strips at any starting or ending points along the midsole and this will really help match that curvature. When you're taping off an area like this black midsole near the back of the shoe, in my opinion, it's a much better idea to under tape by a little bit. You can easily go back and touch up any overspray that might have happened with just a little bit of black paint on something like this. After your midsole is taped off, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure you use a paper towel to tape off the rest of the shoe. And the reason you don't wanna go right into some wide scotch masking tape is because when you remove this after you're finally done, it always leaves a residue on that rubber bottom. When attempting to mask off an area like this Jordan 5 side netting or perhaps a swoosh on an Air Force One or Jordan 1, just make sure you press with your fingernail first to get that inside edge and then simply go ahead around with your X-Acto knife. If you're looking to tape off the inside of your shoe because you're gonna be airbrushing, you wanna make sure that you tuck your tongue first. After that, you wanna mask off any areas where paint can get in from the outside to the inside, such as through the lace holes. To prevent any paint from getting on your sock liner, this is where you're gonna to wanna to use the medical tape. This will hold much better on that soft material rather than any masking tape. Go ahead and use some wide scotch masking tape to help create some walls forming on the inside panel of your shoe. After you have all that done, lay down another paper towel and simply mask that off and now your inside is fully taped off. And that's a wrap on today's video, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I know we went just a little bit over on our two minute limit, but we wanted to make sure that we got all of this information out to you guys. So now you guys can handle taping anything that comes your way. In my opinion, taping sometimes is all about weighing out your options. Sometimes you have to weigh out the option of under taping versus over taping, weighing out where you can and can't get overspray, but these are things that you start to be able to better predict as you start doing this more and more. So I hope you guys were able to take away something from my method. If you have any other Two Minute Tuesday video ideas, we'd love to hear them from you. We appreciate all the feedback that you guys have been giving us. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the page, and we will see you guys in the next one.